Thank you so much and welcome. And um, here's a song about how you might be out in the woods like we are right now, but maybe it's nighttime. And um, the sun goes down and you start to encounter, you know, the shapes the trees take at night, which is never, never a good idea.
Welcome. This is a song that has a severely compromised moral calculus. I was out walking around one night And I came upon Wild Bill Jones He was walking, he was talking to the girl I love And I bid for to leave her alone He said, young man I am 22 Too old for to be controlled So I drew a revolver from my And I shot at the poor boy's soul. Dum da 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 He rambled and he scrambled the ground and he let out a dreadful moan Ka 
got my money in my pocket and my pistol in my hand. Look for the man who made Wild Bill stand. Da, 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 da. This is uh, Ryan Ferreira on guitar and Steve Nister on the drums.
Here's a song about how you might go into the woods and you can shoot and kill and eat the hot groundhog if you in that manner, if that's your manner, the groundhog manner. It's a universal story. Shoulder for my gun and a whistle for my dog. Shoulder for my gun and a whistle for my dog. Headed for the man is about to shoot groundhog. Groundhog. One and a branch and two and a log. One and a branch and two and a log. Lord God Almighty, what a big groundhog. Groundhog. Along came Katie with a snicker and a grin. Along came Katie with a snicker and a grin. Groundhog grease all over her chin. Groundhog. Along came Granny a walking on a cane. Along came Granny a walking on a cane. Swear she'd eat them groundhog brains. Groundhog. Took him home, attend his high. Took him home, attend his high. Best damn groundhog ever I cry. Groundhog. Shoulder for my gun, a whistle for my dog. Shoulder for my gun, a whistle for my dog. Headed for the man is about to shoot groundhog. Groundhog. I'm picking. Thank you. We'll do an ancient song from Vermont, where I come from. It's so good to be here at the beautiful Pickathon Festival with many great musicians. Vetiver, who we played with last night. King Tuff, who is in this, he's up one of these trees somewhere. Kyle King Tuff, he tried to buy a t-shirt off me for $2 when I was 16 because it said Kyle on it, which is his name, not mine, but I didn't tell, $2 was a terrible offer. I would have taken four. I know, I, I'm, I'm so sad I lost it. It was a really good t-shirt, I'm sorry. Um, but it's beautiful to be here, and this is a song from the ancient lands of Vermont. It's a song called uh, Weeping Mary, it's an old hymn.
pages, hours, four hours. So um, I'm driving up and down this beautiful west coast. Um, Ryan and Steve are my northwestern friends. So I've been just, it's just been me in the car with little Arthur, who's four, who's watching Octonauts right now. And because um, he doesn't want to watch me play music, I guess. That's cool. I'm cool with that. But um, so we've been driving up the coast from Los Angeles. We started our trip in Los Angeles. And do you know how it is with a four-year-old in the car? You have to pass the time in as many different creative ways as possible. So I'm trying to train him to understand, to be able to tell whether it's Bud Powell or Thelonious Monk on the piano. So we did that for a few hours. That got us most of the way to San Francisco. And he's doing quite good. He was around 65%. And, um, and then we listened to some music and mostly Paul Blay. Early Paul Blay, Footloose. I found Footloose finally on, the, on iTunes. It's on like a different, under a different title and I had to reorder it because it's in the wrong order. But I found the great Paul Blay album Footloose with Pete LaRocca on drums and so that was another couple hours and Arthur dug that record a lot. And, um, and then we were done and it's not a bug bite. And then we were done and um, he went to sleep, so I had nothing to do. So then I just wrote poems, you know, because you can write poems in the car. You guys do this too. You can write, write poems. I wrote a poem special for Pickathon. I've committed to memory for you guys, and I'm going to recite it right here in the beautiful wood stage. <clears throat> and um, the only thing you need to know, there's some background for the poem. So there's the background information, all the context, basically context. So the poetic context of this poem is that there's a, in the world of the poem, there's a shadowy sort of morally dubious organization called Wounded Animal Solution, like a sketchy animal-related organization. So that's all you need to know. Here's the poem I wrote special for Pickathon, I committed to memory, here we go. It's too bad that Jimi Hendrix never lived long enough to start his own responsibly farmed smoked salmon line, a la Newman's own, Jimmy's Salmons. <laughs> Axis, bold as salmon. Jimi Hendrix's life was tragically cut short at the age of 27 before his true destiny of an electric salmon land was ever realized. A belated autopsy shows that Hendrix's death was caused by a lethal mixture of uppers and salmon. <laughs> Wounded Animal Solutions goes into damage control mode over Hendrix's salmon death revelations. Wounded Animal Solutions spokes cat is quoted as saying, our Acadian brown bears were not and never have been involved in procuring salmon for Jimmy. <laughs> the cozy first name basis use of Jimmy by the Wounded Animal Solutions spokescat does the organization no favors in downplaying its connection to the dead guitarist. Thank you, that was just for you guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's a song I learned from the singing of a, one of my favorite singers, uh, English folk singer named Eliza Carthy. Called Made Lamenting. As I walked out one evening down by yon shady grove, I heard a maid lamenting, lamenting for her love. He is cruel and hard hearted. He is cruel and hard-hearted Even now he's false to me I wish the day had never come That he came following me Go down to your father's garden Sit down and cry your fill for when you gave your heart away. It falls with your goodwill. As I Thank you. These are mostly old folk songs that come from different places. But this is the one I heard on a country radio station a few days ago. My Fall and the places there 
was always somewhere else I had to be. Time gets thin. This is a song about the near future. It's actually a song about, the song is about something that you might have noticed if you were watching closely enough. Um, in the eyes, in the facial expressions of Kirsten Dunst and her acting facial expressions, starting with Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3, and then continuing through Elizabethtown, Wimbledon, you know, straight on to um, Melancholia, the urgent warnings that she's been sending, and you feel like you're the only person that's, that's perceiving these urgent warnings that Kirsten Dunst is sending in her acting performances and through her eyes. And the, so it's like this, each film you go see, the, ur the urgency of the warning increases, right? Straight to melancholia. And then it gets to the point where uh, Spider-Man's gonna come back. They made that new Spider-Man a couple of years ago, right? And um, you're extremely uh, concerned, you know, about what the new message that you're gonna have to receive it in this new Spider-Man is gonna be. And then she wasn't in that one, she's not in that film. And you, it totally blows your mind because you realize she's actually achieved a space where she's communicating through her absence. <laughs> and so then you really get worried and then, but we're still here, but we're waiting for the next message, you know. Tell me who's going 
gonna ride him? Who's gonna ride him? Who's gonna ride him? Tell me who's gonna ride him? Hey, the time draws nigh. Said, so I run to the rock. Run to the rock, run to the rock. Said I run to the rock. Hey, Lord, time draws nigh. But the rock cried out, the rock cried out, the rock cried out. No. Thank you. Since you we're here in the woods, I'll play a little fiddle tune, a Kentucky fiddle tune.
Thanks again to Ryan Ferreira and Steve Nister. We'll do another old Vermont hymn, another old song. Thank you, we'll do a couple more. I made an album called Lilio, which uh, many of the songs we've done tonight on, but this is a different from a, a previous one. It's called He's Taken My Feet. Oh, he 
is taken my feet from the mire and the clay, and he's placed them on the rock of ages. Thank you. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, little Maggie Hackman. Thank you. Have a good festival party on Ryan Ferris, see you, Steve Nisser. Thank you.